The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some homebrew N64 games on physical cart. That's right. I went up to the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo, and I came back with two aftermarket homebrew games for the Nintendo 64. Talked to the developer, Daniel Savage, and in today's video, I'm sharing these games and some gameplay. These were made for some N64 game jams, and I'm happy to show you what they look like, and you can download these. The link will be below, so sit back, relax. Let's take a look. Here is the physical cart that I picked up at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo 2022, signed by Daniel Savage, number two of 20. There's only 20 copies per title that he was offering at the Expo. And, you know, this was made specifically for the N64 Game Jam 2021, and it won. It even has a story, and, you know, you know, programming for the Nintendo 64, especially, you know, primarily by a single person, pretty challenging. And I know he had some support getting this uh, done, and it took two months to do this project. There's more information on his website. The link will be below. And it's really cool. It's got a simple story. This game isn't too long. Uh, it, it's, I got through in about 20 minutes, but well worth it. Well worth it to download and play on a flash cart. Simple controls. You know, you use the control pad to move around and you use the analog stick to aim. And I really enjoyed what he's done here. It's got a funny story, lots of sarcasm, and that's my, that's my go-to, you know. And I really like what he has done here. You know, these aftermarket games, you know, are, are hopefully, hopefully opening the door for other people to pursue and make these types of games for the Nintendo 64, um, you know, and offering it on a physical cart. Amazing. I don't know if any more is going to be available. What I do know is that you can download and play this on like an EverDrive cart if you have one of those. Um, it does state on his website that uh, it, it, this does have trouble running in an emulator. So um, if you can get it to work, great. Uh, but you know, it looks like it, it's working on actual hardware, which is awesome to see. So getting into the game, uh, this is the actual gameplay. Uh, and so you're moving your character around and you're, you're pinpointing target spots on these enemies as a satellite comes and takes out the weak points. Just really cool. It's got a cool uh, premise to this. I haven't played necessarily a game too much like this. So you gotta take out this enemy. And you know, uh, this is uh, a homebrew game. And so if you haven't played any homebrew games, they're not like a AAA developed title. You know, getting this to run on an N64, very, very, very challenging. And I don't know uh, how much programming you have, but but just getting this to run is just awesome to see that, especially within only two months. I'm trying to take this out, see if I can get it here. Nope, miss. Just got some really neat uh, aspects to this game. And, you know, I really have enjoyed it. And, and uh, you know, uh, is this a looker? No, it's not a looker, but just seeing it run and seeing uh, it was fun to play. I really enjoyed uh, playing this one and seeing what he was capable of doing in a very short time. You know, Nintendo 64 did not have many titles released for it. About 300, around 300 for the U.S. And I know there's some import games as well that we didn't get. But nice to see some additional games that people are going out of their way. You know, growing up, there's a lot of people that grew up with the Nintendo 64. So I'm, I think we're going to see other projects. And so I, hopefully, I'm really, really confident and, and hopeful that we'll see other things. But, you know, this is just a simple one. But I, there's only about three chapters to it. So different enemies with different attack patterns. And uh, yeah, you have a time limit. I do like that. I, I normally don't like games with a time limit. Th this works in this game. And so, yes, uh, the only thing I would also would like to see would be a score. And so having a score and being able to like go back and try to best your score would have been a, a nice additional factor. But that's just the old Atari, old school gamer in me. But yeah, 
I, I really like this. It was just kind of neat to see kind of what he came up with. Again, the focus of this game was size. So you definitely feel that. These, these monsters are really large. And, and I think the gameplay works. I haven't played really anything like this. That's always a bonus, a, a, a treat. Daniel's second N64 game jam project is Wizard of the Board. And each game jam has a theme, and this one was Control. I got the same number for both of them, number two of 20 signed, and really excited about that. It was really nice meeting him. He also had a discussion about homebrew, homebrew projects at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Pretty awesome. And here it is. Even has like an introduction with, uh, with, uh, with a story. And this is a cool one. I didn't know what to think of it when I first saw it. But really, it's like you take like a chess game and make a and combine it with a puzzle aspect to it. So it's not just chess; it's got a whole like aspect to it and challenging and multiple levels. I really like what he did here, and it's really thoughtful and creative. And another game, you know, I've played a lot of aftermarket and homebrew games as well as many games across everything from Atari to Xbox. And I haven't played really anything like this, so it's really cool. So uh, you can choose a, a level. I love that you can do that. And in the level, in the levels, I think there's 18 floors, and it gets more challenging. It does help to have a background in chess and how to move chess pieces, but you don't need to, as you know, you can experiment with this. There isn't a time limit. Uh, but the chess pieces, I do believe, can't touch you. So you're moving around this 3D board. You're, you're, you're selecting chess pieces. And then using the controller, you're choosing where they move. Uh, you can only move them on appropriate spaces with the X's, meaning that's an invalid move. Really like that you can uh, move these pieces around. And so uh, it really is a cool idea taking just traditional chess and chess pieces and putting them in a creative puzzle aspect. Um, I got about halfway through this, uh, you know, and so I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you a little bit. I love that there is a, a story and, and it goes along and, and kind of walks you through. I think the developer has been very clever and I really enjoy these creations and being able to share them with the rest of the world. That's awesome. And I really hope that this is kind of the start of more projects like this. As more people grow up with the Nintendo 64, I bet there's going to be people and developers out there that want to take the limitations and challenges of programming for the Nintendo 64, push themselves to make cool little aftermarket projects like this. And so I really look forward to what Daniel's going to come up with next. You know, these are passion projects. They're not made for big financial gain as, you know, this took considerable amount of time and, you know, developers and programmers by day, you know, they have day jobs. And so this is just done in extra time. And so really cool to see this come to a physical card as well. It's a pleasure to see programmers and developers use their skills to offer creative ideas such as this. And I'm really excited to see what else comes from the N64 homebrew community. I know there's other projects out there. This is just a sample, but have you played any of them? Comment below as I really enjoyed playing this and I'm gonna be playing it more. So, what did you think? Have you played these? You can go down to the link below and check them out. If you have uh, an EverDrive, N64 EverDrive cart, you can download, or flash cart, you can download these. So thank you so much. You know, I'm a big supporter of the homebrew and aftermarket scene for multiple different consoles and computers and handhelds. I've covered several of these on my channel. So what I've decided to do is I am making a playlist dedicated to aftermarket and homebrew games and you can check that out the link is below for that and enjoy those thank you so much for coming to my channel if you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as i'm uploading content every week different videos different things 
and you may like what you see. So thank you so much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.